So I'm like super far, uh, maybe around three meters, or yeah, around three meters possibly. Right now I'm gonna go in the back room with a bunch of thick walls. Now I'm coming back from the other side. I'm going just like a long way around the shop. And currently I'm about maybe one meter away from the phone with the thing. And now I'm basically next to it. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a Bluetooth beacon. So this is a self-powered Bluetooth beacon which will allow you to find your quadcopter even if the battery has been ejected. Now this thing is pretty remarkable because I've done some testing behind the scenes just to double check. There's these apps for your phone for Android and I'm pretty sure iPhone as well that actually give you the range of how far the module is away from you, which I thought was very interesting. And um, it's pretty reliable, to be honest, uh, roughly like less than half a meter or so. So if you're like, if it's reading half a meter, it's somewhere around you. And, uh, you know, basically it's in the circle here instead of walking the whole field or something. So it's really nice and it's really cheap to actually get started. I think it's less than 20 bucks here. So some of the components we're going to need is a a battery charging module circuit. I don't really know what they're called. They have a bunch of names. And I'll leave a link to this one down below so you get the exact one as me. We're gonna also gonna need the HM1177. I highly recommend you get the exact one. I'll also show down in the links because this you, we're not gonna have to program anything. And um, we're just gonna have to basically give it power and that's it. So that's really nice. And we're gonna need a little lithium polymer battery. This is the smallest I found. I know I have smaller, but I just couldn't find them for the life of me. So I just, I'm going to stick to a big one. And um, just a couple extra things. We're also going to need some wire, some really thin wire and some resistors. Now the resistor values, I still don't know the exact resistor values. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Now let's discuss uh, how this is going to be set up. Well, basically it's just going to be this on one side and the module on the other side, double sided tape. And then, you know, however big the battery is, is however big the stack is going to be and wherever you can stick it in. So let's talk a little bit about the charger module here. So this thing, you would connect your battery right there. So the battery, we're gonna have to cut this off and connect it right here or make it, you know, a replaceable battery. We could put the female part of this or the male part here. And uh, thus, that's where the battery will go. The out plus and the out minus is what's gonna power this guy. However, we cannot connect them directly because this outputs five volts and this takes like a maximum of a 3.6 volts. So that's where the resistors come in. We're going to create a small voltage divider. Very simple. These are very cheap too. So you don't have to worry about that. So we'll see how it outputs and I'll show you how to calculate uh, the voltage divider to get the correct like 3.3 or 3.5 volts to power this little guy here. And uh, this part here is the charging part. This will charge this and at the same time also give power to this if you needed, if the battery was dead, which is really nice. And also you have these little pads on the left and right here. These are if you wanted to keep it somewhere static without a USB, you can just give it the five volts from here. So five volts will charge everything here. Now other features of this board here, not only that it charges, it also has over discharge circuit and a, and, um, and a short circuit protection. Uh, so it's, it's really nice. It keeps it very safe, actually, uh, which is super awesome. And if for some reason you short circuited something, it'll cut the power. And we have to do is plug in the charger and remove it again. And then it resets the whole circuit, which is pretty cool. I really like this one. And um, yeah, everything here is absolutely cheap. So uh, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Let me prepare everything and uh, let's just get started. All right, guys. So first things first, I got this little female part that I'll be able to connect the battery here. Later on, I'll make it more static, but right now I just need to do a quick test. So let's go ahead and uh, prepare this here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this off here. Um, I'm gonna make it static later on. So, but it's really nice to also have it replaceable, uh, the battery, if you ever wanted to. So it's really nice in that perspective. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and strip these wires. And uh, let's go ahead and grab the module here. So we're going to solder them to the battery minus and the battery plus, which is the B plus and the B minus. And let's go ahead and grab the solder. So where's the solder? There it is. 
All right. So I'm just going to apply a bit of solder here. And um, if you don't have a soldering iron or you're looking for a portable one, I highly recommend this one. This is a TS100. It's an absolutely amazing little soldering machine. Uh, it has some crazy firmware updates. And um, I've just actually been using this instead of my big soldering iron lately. So it's really nice. All right, so we got those prepared. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, prepare the wires before we go ahead and install them on the thing. So there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just add a little solder to them. Okay, clean the tip, very important. And uh, the minus is the black, if you don't know that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that, which is ground. Okay. There we go. And now we're gonna do the positive side. Make sure you don't bridge the pads. Okay. There we go. Now that's in and very nice. So let's go ahead and stick in our battery. Let's double check. Ground is ground. And we're going to go ahead and install this guy like so. There we go. And now what's so cool is about this charging board is when you plug in the USB, it'll actually give you an indicator if it's, if it's charging or it's, um, it's not if it's finished charging and all these kind of crazy cool stuff. So right now, obviously, it's charging. It also has a green LED to tell you that it's done charging. So currently, what I want to see right now is I want to see what's the current output. I know this is around uh, 3.9 volts. I want to see if it's still outputting true 5 volts or less so we can calculate the voltage divider here because that's very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see the out, in, and out plus. We're going to go ahead and put a multimeter there, and we're going to see how much it's outputting here. So let's go ahead and grab the multimeter. There it is. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Okay. So it's outputting 3.9 volts. It's actually outputting the battery voltage for some reason. And um, let's double check, see the battery voltage. 3.95 volts, so it's outputting the battery voltage here. So this is kind of a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit tricky then, because I always thought it was a step up also. So let's go ahead and just stick the power in here and see what it'll output for us. Or this is just a charger module, I think. Let's go ahead and double check this. So we have, now it's outputting 4.2 volts here. So 4.2 volts is the maximum. So, hmm, we need to calculate this correctly so we don't lose a lot of power. All right, guys, so now we need to figure out which one is the voltage and which one is the ground. And uh, well, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. There's a little chart. I don't know if I'll put it on the side right here, but it's really easy. You have this bottom one right here, which would be considered pin number 9, which is uh, 9 volt. And then pin 12 is ground. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12. That's going to be ground. However, I don't recommend you solder from this side. And uh, we're going to have to solder from the other side because there's more room. So let's go ahead and flip this guy over like this. And now it's switched to the other side. So if you're looking at it like this, now it's going to be this side here. So we're going to need, let's just see, hopefully you guys can see that. You're going to need this one, which is 9, 10, 11, and 12. And that would be ground. Ground is 12. And then 3.3 volts or input voltage is this little guy right here. So... Let's go ahead and add a little solder, tiny bit of solder. So it's, it's all, there's also another way you can do this. Oh, let me just remove that right there. There's a little bend in my solder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, if you're afraid to just hit one, just go in and just hit them all just like this. Just bring them in. All right. Okay. Perfect. So all we need is this side. All right. Now let's go ahead and prepare a wire. Now I have these little wires here. Um, I got them from, I think, Banggood. I'll leave a link to them down below once I remember where I got them from. Um, and you can go ahead and check those out. I really like them, actually. They're not really useful for a lot of things, but for this thing, it's just, um, it's really nice. Okay, so I kind of did this so they don't go all over the place the other day. Because also, this is like the second time I ever used these. Um, all right, so it's really thin gauge. I don't even know how much so I'm just gonna cut about this much off All right 
That's gonna be more than enough. And we're just gonna prepare one wire. And these are very hard to strip sometimes. You need a lot of practice. There we go. It's only one strand of wire. It's solid core, but super, super thin. There we go. So here's the positive, which will be this one here. And let's actually get started with that one. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little solder to it. So just a little bit of solder here. My phone's been going off like crazy all morning, emails and everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and also trim some of this off here. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. There we go. Now I'm just gonna apply this one right here, like so. Can be a little bit difficult, but I think we got it. Let's just see how good that is. It's very good. All right, we're gonna do the same to the ground. We're gonna have to go up from here, which is 10, 11, 12. We're gonna go up to the fourth uh, pad from the bottom. All right, I'm gonna trim this also. Okay, so this is nine. Then we're gonna go 10, 11, 12. So this one's gonna be ground. I want to add a little bit of solder to that actually. It's going to fall though. All right. So now we have power. And, uh, okay, so that's good. Let's just see how good they are. Yeah, they're in pretty damn good. So that's really nice. All right, guys. So uh, scrap the current ohm values that I gave you in the beginning of the video because uh, those were way too high and they were eating up most of the current. I don't know what the hell I was smoking this morning, but yeah. <clears throat> so what we need is like 10 ohms and uh, 75 ohm resistors. So let's go ahead and grab the 10 ohm resistor. The 10 ohm resistor is just going to go to the positive right there. So we're just going to set that up real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to be installed into the positive. So let's go ahead and and do that now since I've already there we go so let's go ahead and actually remove some of this here there we go and I'm just gonna stick it through over there so let's set this up so you guys can see it so yeah it's just um I was like why am I getting 1.8 volts why am I getting 1.8 volts and then I kind of woke up a little and I was like, oh, well, that's why. So let's go ahead and stick this one through. All right, so the 10 ohm resistor is going to go on the positive there. And I'm just going to go ahead and bend it forward. Oh, I should have left a little bit of room up there. Just a slight bit. Pull it out. There we go. Oh. There we go. So I want to keep a little bit so you can kind of bend it over and so we can make it kind of nice. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and grab a 75 ohm resistor, and we're gonna set that up on the negative there. So I'm just gonna trim some of this off right now. There we go. I'm just gonna guide it through there. Okay, I think that's good. And now I'm just gonna bend it forward. Okay, maybe I should have left a little bit more, but that's totally fine. And now what we wanna do is we wanna get these guys together here and connect them okay okay that's perfect all right that'll work beautiful so i've been testing it right now i actually found a new app and it's so much better it's just insane so now we're going to go ahead and grab our ble module here and uh, we're going to add the positive to this here and the negative to the ground right there so let's see the battery here and we're going to see how much wire we need to set that up real quick so let's see about here is going to be fine right there all right and we're just going to trim some of this guy off and we're going to trim some of this guy off uh oh there we go it's all right so let's go ahead and do the negative first so it should be pretty simple and straightforward Nothing to it. There we go. So that's the negative. And then we're going to set up the positive here. Now, I recommend we get a little heat shrink, which uh, 
because this is going to be exposed and we don't want this to be exposed we could later on just drop the whole thing but i really don't like how much it, this thing is actually exposed so first thing i'm going to add a little bit of solder to the um the voltage divider here and get a nice contact and we could trim some of this off because it might be a bit too long for what we need it for so i'm going to go ahead trim it off to right there so it's very nice now so i'm going to get some heat shrink all right and um let's see what size this is pretty good yeah i think it'll be perfect right there so i'm just gonna cut some of this off there we go and i'm gonna drop it on this guy here and then later on we can just uh follow through and shrink it and it should be totally fine so there's this I'm going to go ahead and grab the tweezers. Now these tweezers are really a must have because solder doesn't stick to them and you can use them to bridge things and they're really nice and really cheap. So uh, if you're into soldering and these kinds of things, I do highly recommend these actually. They're very, very good. Okay, it's perfect. So now we're just going to go ahead and uh, add the little heat shrink there. Hopefully that'll cover everything. Let's try to get it in just perfect. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna get the hot air gun just to shrink this little bad boy. Okay. Okay, it's perfect. All right, so somehow the negative fell off here. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so that's good and done. So we have battery and we have the module into place. We have the voltage divider giving the positive to the HM, the Bluetooth module. And now all we have to do is can basically just connect it here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we should in theory have a working module. All right, let me grab my phone. So I just found this app, which is way better than the other ones. Um, there's ones that give, there's so many apps out there, so you can go ahead and play with them. And link whatever ones you guys like down below. But this one was just phenomenal, actually. I really loved it, look at it. Uh, there's other ones that give you distance and stuff, but this one is a lot better. As you can tell, I already started reading the RSSI reading right there. So can you see that? Uh, it's just, it's phenomenal here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start walking away with this and you guys could just watch this here. And um, it's like about five meters. So I'm going to go ahead all the way to the back room and stuff. And then, yeah. So I'm like super far, um, maybe around three meters or yeah, around three meters possibly. Right now I'm going to go in the back room with a bunch of thick walls. Now I'm coming back from the other side. I'm going just like a long way around the shop. And currently I'm about maybe one meter away from the phone with the thing. And now I'm basically next to it. There it is. It's right here. So it was a huge success. It was a little pain in the butt to get it going uh, because of that stupid voltage divider. I wish I had a regulator just on board, which, um, just could have set that up right away so that's that's basically it and if uh, if you wanted to charge it you could just charge it so the next step is to basically just set it up just double side tape here double side tape there and we're good to go so let's just do that now i'm gonna unplug it first and we're gonna grab the double sided tape here all right so i just got two pieces of double sided tape and i'm just gonna cut them like so this is very nice double sided tape i get it from tesco I don't know what it's called, but it's really, really good. Just be careful not to cut your battery. Okay, these scissors need some tuning. Can't find the other ones. Okay, so that's perfect. So here's one side, and let's go ahead and do the other side. Um, what I want to do on this side, though, is to have it to take up the whole area here, so we get no 
bridging of anything or touching because this is really nice double side tape. It's 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 um it's not conductive and it has dampening effects, so it's really nice. So there we go. Let's go ahead and remove this side. So I want it to be like so. There we go. So that's one side, and obviously this will be this will be um, smaller depending on the battery or bigger, depending on the type of battery you're looking to put on here or you purchased. And I'll leave a link to everything down below. So let's go ahead and set this up like so. Okay, everything's still connected. And all you have to do is just connect this and you can you could either change it to be static or non-static and now you have this little tracking module here which is awesome so let's see if it's still working this ble analyzer so yeah it's working so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this and let's see what happens it just stops reading right away and if i connect it i think it takes a bit oh look it's disappearing that's awesome Okay, yeah, so sometimes the, 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 the protection circuit might think that um, there was a short circuit, and what it does is it w it'll disconnect the out power output here, and that's why it took forever. So, yeah, take that into consideration, but, um, or because we did it so quick, possibly, that's why I did that. But other than that, it's, uh, there it is. Just make sure it's running before you go ahead and fly with your quadcopter, as you can see here. So it's really nice. Uh, I can feel the heat. It's not, it's not going to be super heat super hot here and um <clears throat> yeah that's that's all it is right here so let me clean up and uh let's come back and check everything real quick all right guys so the thing is complete and it's absolutely phenomenal there's a bunch of apps online this one i really like more than the other ones some other ones tell you the distance but it took forever to update however this is so real time that i really do enjoy this and you get like graphs so, so you know how far you went and it's it's super awesome you also get this meter thingy here where you can go and then it's oh my goodness i just love this one the most actually i think this one's the most useful for me but um yeah this is just uh absolutely awesome i mean it really works like really good um uh, however for me I, I find this to be the most useful maybe if someone wants to 3d design or do something let us know let me know and uh, i'll link it down below maybe i'll do an update video where um i do go ahead and print it out and then just do like a final form um but overall I'm very satisfied with this and it just came out absolutely awesome. Uh, maybe we should look for a little bit smaller batteries or thinner batteries. That'd be pretty cool. And, um, and maybe a smaller charger board. Uh, but overall, you know, this is the basic idea, basic concept. But I do highly recommend you check the links down below, especially for the Bluetooth module here. Uh, this one will save you a headache because it just comes uh, with the perfect firmware. Because these come with a lot of firmwares and this will come with the perfect firmware here which is uh, just uh, super awesome. I, I'm in love here. Um, so it's really nice. It's not heating up so hot. Nothing is really heating up. It's really good. It's very nice. So yeah, overall, it was an absolute success, and I'm very satisfied with this, and it just came out absolutely awesome. And um, yeah, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Now I'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.